As part of its Lunar New Year festivities, the Chinese Embassy in Washington annually hosts a VIP reception. This year, Wilbur Ross, the U.S. Commerce Secretary, was among the dignitaries in the front row. Ross recently admitted that the U.S. may have picked a trade fight with China after the Trump administration last month announced it was imposing tariffs on some Chinese exports and considering more. Addressing the crowd, Ambassador Tsui Tiangkai called for better mutual understanding between the two countries and laid out his vision for China-U.S. relations going forward. We'll continue to have differences between us, but our growing common interests are far more important. We may continue to have disagreements between us, but the need for cooperation will far outweigh any differences between us. Tsui then pushed back against some in Washington who've grown vocally suspicious of China's rise and its intentions. It would be a wishful thinking to believe that some political or cultural genetic engineering could be done to change China's DNA. And it's certainly paranoid to fear that a China that follows its own path of development would be confrontational to the United States. Ambassador Tsui certainly very strongly criticized this kind of uh, noises and arguing that uh, uh, we should emphasize cooperation rather than confrontation. We should uh, talk, uh, emphasize diversity, uh, but at the same time, that uh, uh, should uh, uh, U.S.-China relations, there's no other choices except that we cooperate with each other. Last year, at a China National Day event at the embassy, the VIPs included Ivanka Trump, daughter of U.S. President Donald Trump, and her husband, Jared Kushner, a senior advisor to the president. At the time, Kushner was helping drive Washington's policy toward Beijing. Tsui's speech then was notably more optimistic. The trade war is uh, getting some momentum, or probably will, or someone even argue, already started. Although uh, uh, both sides still do not want to have all around the trade war, uh, nevertheless, it's quite worrisome. This event is just a glimpse of the approach China will be taking in its position towards the U.S. Expect to hear echoes of this speech in the coming months, especially at key events like the security and diplomatic dialogue coming up. Rowie Ruttenberg, CGTN in Washington.